What's going on everybody? This is another Python Quick Tips video inspired by my stupidity as a young developer. Back when I was a young developer, I thought that one function could return one thing. And that's not necessarily the case. There are actually several different ways that you can return multiple things from one function. Here's an example. It's kind of a, a weird arbitrary example, but here's an example. So let's say we've got our main function and we've got an array within that main function. Let's just say we want to double all of the numbers in that array and then sum them up. Who knows why, but we want to do that. So let's define, define, not derf, define double sum. And we are going to create new array and first things, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the original array, all right, so equal to that. We're going to take the original array and double all of the numbers in it. So for item and original array, new array dot append item times two. And then we're going to sum all of those items up that are in the new array. So for item in new array, let's create a sum variable. We are going to sum plus equals item. Now, you might want to just return the sum here, return sum. But let's just say we're interested in returning the sum and we're interested in returning the new underscore array variable. You could do that very, very simply with return sum new underscore array. So right here, we could say sum new underscore array is equal to double sum original array. I think sum might be a reserved keyword because it's kind of, my linter's kind of messing up. So let's just do underscore sum. So we'll do underscore sum here. We'll do underscore sum here here and here. So now we can do something like print sum is this underscore sum and then a new line and then a tab and we can do doubled array is str not str and new underscore ARR. So when we run this, we get main func. Let's go ahead and run it. When we run this, we get our doubled array as well as our sum. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad way to do it, especially in a very simplified kind of, um, you know, arbitrary example like this. It's not a bad way to do it. However, if you've got something that has like a thousand of these variables, you really don't want to be returning all of them and then you've got to create a, you know, kind of like a, a you know, equivalent when you're calling it and it, it just starts to get really, really ugly. So what a, t a lot of times you'll do is you will create an object. So ret is equal to this and our return object is going to actually hold what we're going to return. So we will return the underscore sum is equal to underscore sum. And actually we could even simplify this because we don't need to worry about keywords here. And then we can do ret at new, new underscore ARR is equal to new underscore ARR. And now we're just returning that object. So returning ret and down here on the caller, we can hold the object within its own variable. So res is equal to double sum at orig arr. And we will have to access them down here. So underscore sum is equal to res at sum. And original, or let's do new arr is equal to res at new ARR. And it does the exact same thing. Now, the reason why you would want to do this is like I said, it starts to get really, really messy when you have tons of return variables. So you want to hold them all within one object. 
Um, it also means that maybe under some circumstances, I don't want to actually return the sum. So, you know, in this case, I can dynamically create my object and it's not going to throw any kind of errors within the callee, but I will have to handle, you know, the kind of instances where the object is going to look different within the caller. So thank you so much. This was a little bit longer than I intended it to be, but it is super useful to understand that you can kind of create your own returning convention. You can return as many different objects or as many different variables as you want, or you can just return one as is like the standard way to do it. Thank you so much. Take it easy. Peace. <laughs>